Hi, my name is Josh Morales, and I'm the director of the Druthers Helderberg to Hudson Half Marathon. We've prepared a statement, which you can find online, and I was, I was going to read that statement, uh, you know, right now, but it, I don't know if it would uh, emote the, the way that we're feeling. Um, it, it really is, it's hard to believe or unbelievable, I, I don't know the right phrase, um, surreal, uh, nightmare, um, overwhelming. Uh, we are, you know, I know sometimes, you know, you're, I assume most of you watching this are, are the runners of our race. Um, or, or volunteers, or maybe we're going to spectate your family, and you know, and then you know, get a few people on staff here who help make who help make the event happen. Um, we don't want the race not to happen. It's it, it's devastating because building an event. I mean, race day is such a celebration. It's an opportunity. Um, I mean, my, myself, my whole staff, we're, we're all runners too. Uh, we, we got started as a running club in college, putting our own races, and, and that grew over, I mean, it's been 18 years now uh, that we've, we've kept growing to, to now working 200 events a year and, and producing our own events, including this one, the Druthers, Helderberg, Hudson. And we've been thinking about April 18th for one year. Um, I mean, even before that, really, because when we were starting it last year, we were thinking about, you know, even ideas that, that we could implement the following year. And, and surely, you know, we postponed to August 29th, and it is our, you know, deepest hope that that the situation improves, that we, you know, we do get to hold it on that date. Um, you've been training, you, you know, you've been working so hard, and, you know, we're grappling with, we're, we're not going to get that day to make it happen uh, on the day it was scheduled, and it's affecting... I mean, what, what blows my mind, absolutely blows my mind, is we've had to cancel events before. Uh, we once had a fire at an event at the at the facility right before the start, well, right before people started getting there. Um, so it was race morning, we had a building burned down, insane. Thankfully, no one was hurt, uh, or no one was no one was physically in the building. Um, you know, so many events. There, there's been heat concerns, or you know, crazy weather. Uh, there's been fire. Trail races are canceled because because the forest is on fire. But for a singular thing to literally, I, I mean, like, this isn't just our community or the nation, as, as we surely hope you're all aware. It's the entire, I mean, literally all of Earth is dealing with this. Um, it's like existential on, a, on some level of thinking about it. And so, it, you know, you can't look at a race calendar and be like, oh, well, you know, I'll find a race two towns over, I'll drive three extra hours and, you know, put this fitness to good use. Um, there, we just don't have that. But what we do have is we have the ability to run. And, I mean, right now it's, gosh, it's like the one thing you can do. It's, it's you know, get out and run. And if you've never been on trails, they're pretty isolated, so it's probably your safest place to go. But, um, you know, we just want to say, just want to say hang in there. Um, and thank you. Thank you for choosing our race, and you know, 2,700 of you have chosen our race, and over 20%, this will be your first half marathon. Uh, we love that, and we, we want to give that to you. We, we so do, and you know, it's, uh, it's just, we can't wait, we can't wait till this situation is over, and you know, we encourage you, please, please, Listen to what they're telling us to do to socially distance yourself and, you know, stay home as much as possible. Uh, if you have a treadmill, use it. If you don't, you know, get out, find a place no, where no one else is and just keep running. I feel that we as runners, there's this mental toughness we have that, you know, those tough days, you, you don't want to get out or just, you know, you're, you're deep into a run and you're just completely enervated, but, but somehow you find that strength and, you know, as we confront a, a really difficult financial reality with, with all of our with all of our events canceled. Um, you know, we're we're kind of really remaining optimistic that you know we will get through this, and and there is a, a bright sun on the other side of these these dark skies that are uh, gonna metaphorically be with us for for a while here. So.
Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you on August 29th.